It's not gonna be Vixana. Looks like a boy will not change his picks here compared to the second game. Uh, but yeah. I mean, it's clear that at this stage, at the highest stage of Indonesian Mobile Legends eSport, who's losing? It's gonna go on for much longer in season 14. Is it going to be Evo's Glory or a Geek Fam? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's see the conclusion of this series. Who will take the first match win of season 14? Both of the junglers just clearing really, really fast. As you can see, Annabelle getting a bit more of an edge. Dreams tries the age all tactic to delay, but Vincent tanks the hook. So there'll be a bit of a reset to that buff, unfortunately for him. This means that Evo's most likely will be able to get that litho. But both of them are just prioritizing the pathing, the clear immediately, making their way to the top side. Dreams make the first move. Yep, Andrew is Beloy here, and Val's not level four, so no fracture there to really punish Beloyski. Though he has to recall, so that's already a rotation stop or delay rotation there for Beloy. Emblem here by Indicom shows that there's the Inspire and the the. Uh, Bargain Hunter for Masako, so he's trying to snowball out. Whereas for Brands, the conservative approach as always, tenacity with the firmness. And for both roamers, they're desperate to make the place happen. That's where the pull yourself together comes in. But with the focusing mark for Dreams, with a support emblem, he's going to be a lot more active when it comes to movement around the map. Whereas later on, Valoisko will be a lot tankier and he'll be having a lot more ways to kind of impact these fights uh, in a, bit, a more direct way. Audience prediction actually shifted towards Evos's favor after the game two. Looks like Bloisky smells something is happening. Oh, with Iron Hook now, Bloisky oh will be able still to get out of the way though. He has to recall, so that's a man down here for the side of Geek Fam. Evos Glory will not rush the turtle just yet though. But they have all the tools available to kind of take this one. Vincent though actually goes away from the vicinity. Mm -hmm. The Lura level four. Now let's see, where is Bapui not yet invested? Vincent though caught in the backside and well secures the turtle. All good stun! And that will be Vincent taken down. Geek fam failed on the objective and they have failed on the fight. It's unfortunate for them, the sent will go to the front to maybe try and deny Annabelle. But at the same time, they left their backliners vulnerable. With Beloisky not level 4 just yet. Later on though, with a bit more items, the Hylas can actually zone out Annabelle. Because I don't think any assassin would want to try and deal with the horse. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And also, the horse is going to come in handy when, even in the late game, if Dreams lands a hook towards one of the member of Geek Fam, the first thing is, they have a lot of cancels on their, on their arsenal. And also, that glorious pathway is pretty much the perfect... the perfect counter-engage mechanic for Geek Fam. So if they want to catch up, it's as easy as, as pie. Can they go on the pathway immediately but they don't have a reason any any kind of solution here for the aggressiveness of dreams on this franco not anyone can actually take that hook we saw Beloyski try to just earlier on and he can get bursted down very very low so no flicker means that he won't be able to withstand all that aggression but they spot out dreams technically seeing the movement of the crab so vincent still keeping up in farm but annabelle is pulling ahead ever so slightly and right now so very quiet so far, only one kill in four minutes. Evos leading about 700 gold lead, but it is easily catchable. And the reason why it's so quiet is the fact that Poloski right now is, you know, is more prone to getting hooked. He knows that Dreams knows how to play Franco also. Two Franco players battling it out in the land of dawn. It's gonna be an interesting match. Here's the issue when you have a main front line being the EXP lane. Now, Roamer, before the five-man grouping actually happens, will struggle quite a bit by being picked off. And in fact, I think Beloisky will be picked off several more times before the late game rolls around. Geekfam has the pressure here in the turtle side, but Dreams, he threw the hook already. It's because the turtle going to go to Geekfam. A free one as well. And yeah, no compensation here for out of Evo's Glory, though. Top lane is actually the gold shield turret that will be... Wow, munched down 100%, even the turrets. I don't think they're going to be able to finish the job though, so Filtora a bit late, but 
ever too late to secure a tower there as he's gonna recoil back. And Masako, oh, the Iron Hawk to rest Valoisky. The damage will come through. Shaman Force will not have enough range to do damage, but the top lane will be sacrificed there by Masako. Very good read. And the first structure will be taken out top lane. Instead of Geek Fam, they send the Hylas top only to recall and go back bot. Very inefficient use of time if you think of the usual Geek Fam. But now look at a boy trying to clear, but there's a play from the set of Eagles. Oh man. And well now, he needs to be careful. Oh, the flanks here with the glorious half layer. Boy falls though, but the brand's now caught and will be the trade. Now it's a 4v4 dream still there. Will not go for an engage, but that is Geek responding. A marksman for a mid. Yeah, you saw that coming, and also you saw that coming around. See, Belosi getting picked off. He said that he's gonna go down quite a few times before the late game comes. And also said that Glorious Pathway, man, that is an instant counter engage mechanic as Vincent. Taking a bit of heat here, but at the end of the day, Geek is able to secure a turret for themselves. Oh. So, ooh. Ooh. Almost. <laughs> Alright, a trade of spells there. In the top side, Geek Fam though were able to brute force the turret take, but they're still losing out compared to Evos. The pressure of the early game Franco is definitely getting into the heads of Geek Fam, which means during these big 5v5 big team fights where the Hylas can be the main frontline that can tank the Iron Hook, Geek Fam should have an advantage. See now Ooh. with the turtle. Hoped by Fluffy. Oh, Baron and Hook connects on towards one member and Veldora deleted. Oh. Fluffy with the penalty zone. Big! Polarski caught in the backside. Now Vincent repositions, finds one. Now Annabelle, oh. as well as their members, will go back. But Brands finds a shutdown on towards Vincent. It was honestly going a bit better than I thought for Geek Fam. I thought they're toast after the initial penalty zone towards a three, but. Still though, no, Evos, a big W on their hand, about 2k gold lead at this point, entering the 8th minute. Definitely a tough spot to be in. Asako though, getting bursted down. Oh, the fracture oh. wasn't enough to take him down, and Shaman Force there helped him survive. I guess the game plan is still the same, man. Asako is that guy on Harry, is that guy on that magic damage gold laner. So the game plan is just to take him to glory. Once again though, if you look at Geek Fam, the fact that Vincent and the rest of the team weren't able to help Veldora out when he got jumped on, what were they expecting, right? I think they were really uh, thinking that Evos are setting up a trap, but when they send Veldora forwards, you just mentioned that they have a lot of catch, a lot of cancels as well to try and stop the suppression, the bloody hunt from Dreams, but none of that were seen. And I feel like if they want to win, they gotta try and deal with the Iron Hook threat a bit better, right? At least follow up on their members getting jumped on a bit better. Because even though there's a penalty zone, nothing's stopping them from going forward and, and landing a very simple eternal guard from long distance. Yeah, and there's nothing stopping Dreams from owning, from owning the bushes, man. I feel like every time, Duke is just trying to somehow read where Dreams is going. And every time you're playing reactively, responsively to this kind of uh, pick-off roamer, it's not a good thing. Meanwhile, though, Feltora. I think that movement speed boost to kind of scout out the vicinity, but he doesn't know if Dreams is there to catch him. Oh, oh he missed. He missed. He wow. missed the horsey. That's a big horsey, but the hook does not land. The wave in the bottom side, though, is still pushing for Geek, and they were able to get a turret off the back of just macro wave control. And we also we got game fact here by Gopay A. A boy. Season 13, he used Vexana 13 times and racked up about 77% win rate. So, not too shabby himself. He's looking to further enhance the win rate, even though so far in this game, it's still 0% or in this match after that game number two. Now, with the Lord spawning, it's a whole different situation. Vincent spotted on the top side. Evos, we're gonna try and blitz this. You know, let's see Lord's family uh, committed now. And Annabelle secures the Lord with composure. Now it's going to be Evos Glory looking to win this engage. But Feldora says no. Three members taken down. And Evos Glory, they got the Lord, but they will lose on, on fight and structures. I mean, quite literally ran through everybody there. The Glorious Pathway and everyone in the unison trying to take down what they can. After losing out on the Lord, Annabelle. Right now, though, Annabelle is not spotted out. Ooh. So that's away. Yeah. 
great play for the side of Geek fan there. Going and, and sacrificing the first Lord technically in order to win a great team fight. Overall, I feel like it's still gonna be a win for Eve, uh, for, for Geek. Because Evos are gonna be unable to use any of these waves. He can clear the top side here, rotate to the bottom, and end up not losing anything unless Evos can make a play happen. Maloyski spots out the steal attempt, but Annabelle will be able to take away that purple. And he's building towards a BOD, so he's trying to go for a lot of damage. It was once 2k gold lead for Evos, almost 3k. And right now it's only 1k, so it is for sure a winning trade for the clan. Even though at that time, I feel like Vincent could have done much more if he were a bit more fast on the approach and knows that the, con the consequences of showing up in the map, man, they just pulled the trigger, Evos. Look at Masako. He went to the bottom side, was playing very tentatively, maybe fearing a, a play coming in from side of Evos. But look at this, Galdora once again. Yep. Now with the conceal as well, Dolores. Be all good. Glorious pathway, Dominus Descent already committed. Oh, that's a big Eternal's gone on to it too. A member falls now, they're looking for Fluffy. The damage will be enough to take him down. Annabelle finds Valoi, that's Ooh. a trade on towards the Roamer, but it's a two for one still in favor of Geek Fam. Man, that was one, one inch away to punish Brands if that Synchro Fusion and that Corner Dash caught Brands. That's pretty much a chain of barrage of magic damage towards Brands. And right now, once again, a winning trade for Geek Fam. And I feel like they finally found the formula, Rashi. Just pretty much try to get Clock on and see what happens. It's about being the first to make the move and just denying Dreams any kind of Iron Hook. Because if earlier, earlier there with the Glorious Pathway propped up, if Dreams went for the Iron Hook, it doesn't matter. Everyone's going to jump straight towards him anyways. And here, that's where Annabelle comes in. He's trying to be sneaky, coming from the back, coming from behind to try and stop this front to back. But we're going to play by I'm offended, will be enough to take him down. Annabelle though, cheeky flank finds a trade. Now, Feldora with the glorious pathway, trying to find Brand in the backside with Vincent, finds the first and Massacre oh. deletes him. It's a two for two. Annabelle, oh, he is, he is trying to assassinate a member, but doesn't, wasn't able to find and close the gap. The taunt from Massacre, he knows Annabelle is there. That was a equal trade, but Big Vamp slowly but surely taking control of the game. And now what's going to be the response for Evo's glory? Do they want to bank on, you know, Dreams scouting out the area, the bushes for them, and getting a miraculous hook? Is that what it takes to beat this composition? Ideally, Fluffy would walk on the front and tank some damage. Geek fam, though, decisive with this Lord take. Are they committing too hard, though? Because they have a pushing wave in the top side. They finally let it reset. Now, Evos are the ones with the urgency. Oh. Dreams of the Fleet of Time will be trying to go for even more pickoffs. But at this point, anyone gets hooked, Glorious Pathway will be immediately opened up for the full force of Geek Fam to rain down on Evos. The retro battle so far, man, it's not looking good for Vincent if we take a look at the 50 50s. That these two junglers are taking, but Veloski though, could still play. Yeah, yeah for now. anything. And Geek Fam don't have to do anything. Look at that. The wave on the top side is massive. If it's left alone, it might even clear out the base turret. Of course, the passive will be cracked open first. But Evos, they're willing to let it go. Oh no. See here, Annabelle waiting for the potential fight. But he finds the penalty zone, Annabelle. Looking for the right side. Royce Mathway here. Annabelle, what the heck? He did that in game one, game two, and now game three. Now it's going to be an all out war. Dreams first the one to fall as well. And that will be Fluffy and Dreams taken out. Well, yeah, the same story. Vincent losing out of the Retribution, but this time around though, the conversion. Even though Evo's got the Lord, I feel like Kick Fam, they're still gonna win this one. Yep. They start taken down. Now let's see here. Clock and Brands and Annabelle, they have enough wave clear, of course. See though, Evo's glory. What will they do to somehow make this Lord relevant? Let me try and maybe escort it a bit. Because for a Geek Fam, they have a lot of damage available. Oh. Annabelle though, trying to get out. Going in on the Vildora. A lot of damage. We're seeing the Athena on the hands of Vildora, so he has good defense against Magical. But will that be enough? That's counting though, Rashi. So that's a good sign, right? Poloski though. Let's still play him. Wanna go for dreams? Not towards dreams. Damage will be Jeez. enough to burst him down. And Masako, he is so deathless in this game. 
didn't even take a half a second there to burst down attack. A roamer for EVOS Legends. That's supposed to be a bit tankier, but either way, the potential for Geek Fam is already showing. And also the fix, Arashi. That's counting before you go into the bush. We didn't see that in game number two. And finally, a boy, Masako. Even Veldora is a bit more careful and with this with their approach. I mean, if you have the horse in your team, it's a no-brainer. Send him in, let him tank up. The reason why Dreams is looking so squishy is if you look at his items, he's going for a fleeting time into a Winter Crown with the Rapid Boots. He oh, is man. all in utility, and he's not planning on taking any damage in the front line. All he's trying to do is just go for these big hooks. But at this point, especially with Fluffy slowly but surely getting outlasted, getting squishier by the minute due to the item difference. Veldora goes on him. Oh, no follow-up though. Suppression comes through. Veldora taking down. Fluffy should fall as well. Vincent finds that to kill. Kobe has healing or taking out. Oh. Oh. jumping in again. Now that's huge. Out of a fighting one. Finding oh, two. Oh. Goodness. Now with the demon is sent. Vincent and a boy running for the hills. The White Tigers, they smell blood. But it seems like a boy and Vincent, they will have enough mobility to get out. Out. They clump up and they paid the price. The fractures pretty much hits on everyone Woo! from Geek Fam. And now, Annabelle and crew, 4 to 2. Numbers advantage, two of them. They will take the mid lane, but they, they, do they want to go for more? A boy and Vincent looking to a clear the wave. Oh, Evo Glory. And they will just go back and secure the Lord, satisfied in taking down the mid base turret. Fortunately for Geek Fam, they took the base turret on the top side. So now they have a push advantage. Are they going to use it though? Because again and again, <laughs> we've seen that even when they do have a wave moving up in their favor, they just go in. They just go at it. Maybe it's a mind game. Maybe they're really trying to catch Evos off guard because Evos are expecting that. And now in the waiting game, in the situation, this is where Dreams can make his magic work. He does have the flicker for an even further Iron Hook play. As everyone's on the Lord, you can see Annabelle sneaking around, trying to find a different angle, trying to surprise Masako and a boy, potentially get something done before the Lord is down to a 50-50. Yeah, Big Fam can play the long game here. Look at that. The Wave is still pushing and pushing, and Brands is going to be the one who's going to take care of it. The question is, Big Fam, what are you going to do with this kind of advantage? Geek Fam, now with the seal. Oh, oh, wow. the way, what is Grunge and Fluffy? Looking for the flank here. Veldora now, looking to tank it as well. Fluffy pops. What? The uh, penalty zone, but the purifying was there. Now, Veldora will not be able to escape. Oh! saves the day. The White Tigers have the Lord once again. Vincent even used the red tree. That is why he's running away from the vicinity. I was... Very confused. Why is Vincent not there? He didn't even go for a Zask in front of him. That doesn't have a diamond on his descent. And right now, we fell Dora down. What's gonna be the answer here? Evos, take back the control. Six kick hold leader Ashi. Yikes. There's 10 seconds for Veldora to be spawning. I think Anima got knocked up by the Lord, by the way, when he dashes in for the red tree. That's why Clockland gets it. With the Lord go with the Veldora, two seconds away. They're trying to buy some time. Oh, oh go. Fluffy with the flicker penalty zone. No, oh, let's see though, will it be enough? Fluffy gets taken down by Masako. Masako repositioning. Now the Lord will be taken out. Geek found stands with five. Evo's glory backs away. Are you feeling that side of deja vu? Because I do. In game number two, once again, Geek Fam. Game number two, they were able to take control of the game, and now Epos is on the front lines, on the pedal. Now the question is, is it gonna be once again Epos winning out the game? Geek Fam, they have the formula again, though, Rashi. The game plan before was too big to keep Masako safe, and they weren't able to do so. This time, though, the game plan is just to run down the whole team of EVOS glory. As long as Geek Fam don't get comboed, I feel like they win. As long as they can zone brands out from just literally melting everyone down, I feel like they have a good chance to win this. Conceal horseplay, though. Beloisky gets exposed. And Geek Fam will have to stop right there. But look at Annabelle. Whoa! Iron Hope finds one! And now with the glorious pathway, they go all in. Fluffy gets taken out alongside the horse. Oh, Geek Fam repositioning. Oh, Vincent trying to find the hill. Maybe playing the backside. 
Will it be enough? Massacre goes back and we call oh. Vincent. Will the damage be enough to take Greens down? The answer is yes. Leonardo da Vincent will be taken down by Annabelle, who finds the legendary. Oh man, that Roger, Roger solo plays have been popping off this day, man. Sutsujin Scaler and now Vincent might be redeeming for his sins so far that he committed in this game or in this match overall. But looking at the items, Arashi, already this little of the game, what changes? Well, the gold advantage for Annabelle in particular, he's going for an all-out burst damage build. And if you look at Clawkun, he can go for a bit more of a, of a burst approach using the Light of Truncheon, but he just wants damage, all-out damage to match up with the damage output of the Geek Fan. And for Fluffy, with the Athena shield, now at least, he can kind of tank up a lot more Curse Blast from a boy. But that's, with, that's only if the fight goes on long enough. Now will Evos use the base tower advantage? Because again, for both these teams, they've just been going at it, man. Yep. Evos has the advantage right now in economy. But yeah, as you said, Arashi, if the game plan is executed well, then Big fam, the chance to lose is definitely very scarce or very low. Wow, oh, NFL so far, he's been doing a great, great job, by the way. 8 0 6 for this Nolan, a contrast of what Vincent did in game number two. He was able to find those flanks also. And meanwhile, though, he was gonna pull the trigger with uncharacteristic because they have a Franco now. What will be the response for Geek Fam this time around? Because look at the wave Sarashi this time around. It's favoring the White Tigers. Exactly. Evos can just keep doing this indefinitely. Brands is taking some damage, but overall they can just keep waiting around. They can let Clawkun kind of scout out and harass, and they can just wait for Dreams to land an iron hook and not engage unless that happens. For Geek, the best way is to just go in for an all-out engage, but with the wave so far back, they're forced to let a boy. Oh, man. But he's coming. See, will this be the play? I mean, both teams hesitating. Oh, I don't defend the flicker towards the backside. Now, Fluffy, will he be able oh. to defend and sustain? The answer is no. Geek fam, 5-5 five to five in the mid lane, though. It's oh. going to be Annabelle. Annabelle okay. for the end. Is this a distraction? Is this what Evo's glory needs? Take a look at the Lord. Take a look at the Lord. Now Vincent moves on towards Annabelle, who will lose his immortality. And Annabelle will get taken down as Eldora will try to distract oh the Lord's area. Blockman oh. and Brad trying to defend, but Eldora is so sustainable. He will lose his immortality as the Lord will be taken by Massacre in the backside. Brad, will he have enough speed to get away? Vincent, the wall finds him. Mark in the backside. Brand taken down. Another member falls as well. Colossal against the world, but it is too much for Evo's glory to find the space. As does it, man. Win by an inch, win by a mile. Woo! Doesn't matter. A win to kickstart the season for Geek Fam in season 14. Finally, breaking the egg. The family stands strong before the Tigers. But on the other side, four losing streak for EVOS Glory.